In this video we are going to do beautiful design that does not require any hand painting skills. Chain pulling nail art, coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here. This is not a new technique and it is widely used in creating abstract paintings just like this one. So why not try using it for the nail art? We will definitely need a bit smaller chains and bright colors of gel polishes. So I have this one and let's see how it works. I decided to pick four blue colors starting from light blue to deep dark blue. I have a tip where I applied white gel polish and fully cured it already. And then I'm going to apply four colors. You do not have to apply them in a certain way, just simply apply one line and then the other, but I think if we will apply them really close to each other, we will get a better outcome. Do not try to apply it in a certain way, it's just important that you will have a little extra gel polish than usual because we need some color to actually pull it through. And when I'm done with the four colors, I will take white and apply it on the remaining surface next to light blue. Are you guys ready? We simply apply it on top and start pulling. And ooh, looks like it's working, so I decided not to create just the straight lines, but wave them a little bit. And yeah, that looks kind of cool, and these blue lines, they're so thin. Now it is time to cure it. So I decided to use another chain because unfortunately I do not have a similar chain but smaller. So this is the one I have for my rings, so I thought maybe it can work as well. So this time I will apply gel polishes on top of the chain and apply it on top of uncured white gel polish. And let's start pulling it the same way I did with the thread nail art. And ooh, this one looks like a butterfly something. Alright, so I have another one and originally the seller told me that this is a gold chain. Well, as you can see it's not really golden, so I never used it for nail art, but maybe it's gonna work right now. So I applied a few colors and let's pull it and ooh, so with the smaller chains it definitely works so much better. So if you have different kinds of chains you will definitely get beautiful results. And you don't have to use necessarily a long tips. I bet it will work great on the short nails as well. So now we have two loose ends and I'm going to drag the first one and drag the opposite one in another direction. So we will have some kind of a swirl like a colorful tornado. Actually now it looks more like a feather. I enjoy doing this design so much, you guys definitely should try it. I mean, you will not regret it. Alright, so let's try the blooming gel base and blooming color. So I have white blooming gel underneath and ooh, maybe we don't really need to pull it anymore. I mean, it already looks kind of cool. So I have purple, blue and dark pink colors. Actually, let's try pulling them just to see what's gonna happen. And yeah, I bet this design will look great no matter how you will move this chain around because it's just great. Let's try something on a dark background now. So I have black and white and light blue on the chain. And every time you just pull it, you get a pretty similar designs. So I decided to try something a bit different and now we have these beautiful white lines. In one of my previous videos where I did thread nail art, you guys asked me how did I do this wave design. Now I will show you the technique. So you apply colors from light blue to dark blue and get two loose ends of the chain and then you start pulling one side while the other remains just like it is and then you start pulling the opposite one. So we get something like that. This is like an ombre wave design. Obviously I just couldn't stop at this point and just created a few more designs. 
The secret of creating a beautiful art like that is just to use a bright intense color of gel polishes and always try new things. Do not pull the chain only in one direction if you want to get a different outcome. When you are done with your art, simply clean your chains with the lint-free wipe, which is saturated with alcohol or cleanse. Actually, it's pretty easy to clean it and you do not have to clean it after every design, only when you finish your work. And then we need to seal the designs with the top coat. And also, it is very important to fully cure each color, especially if you use some dark colors. Usually, it takes a little longer to fully cure them. Then cure the top coat in LED for 30 seconds, and we are done here. I definitely enjoyed this technique, probably a little bit more than a thread nail art, even though both are definitely great. Let me guys know what do you think, have you tried any of pulling nail art techniques with thread or chains? I would love to read your comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you are first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials just like this one every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!